I'm currently working on a tool called Metagex for metahumans inside Maya. And it's just something that I've been using to help myself, really. It's not available. I haven't released it. It's just for me, but I'm making this video just so that you can see the type of things that I find it useful for. So I'm going to go through, there's two different tools. There's the Metagex face, and then there's the body. And I'm going to go through, yeah, just quickly how I've got them to work currently. So let's get into it. Let's check out this face tool first. So I've got a MetaHuman that's set up with a human IK body rig, and then it's referenced into this scene. And then it's just Mel for now, it's not Python. So to run it, I'm just going to the script editor and going open script, and then opening up the main Mel file. And then I'm just executing it. And I can close that window. And you can see that it asks you to choose a MetaHuman. It detects which meta any metahumans in here that have been set up in that exact way. So they've got to be HIK body set up, and then they've got to be referenced in. All right. And then once you save your selection, you've got this interface and it's built to be able to switch metahumans because quite often I'm working in a scene with multiple metahumans. And these are all pretty obvious. You can select all the options. This is so that you can then set keyframes. Uh, and you can reset and you can just select and reset the brows, eyes, mouth, tongue, neck stretch, and the switches individually, etc. So the most obvious ones here. So if I zoom in here and I might as well turn on anti-aliasing so you can see this a little bit better. So obviously I've got some uh, mouth visemes here and I use these just to clean up lip sync quickly. And then I've also got a variety of positive and negatives that I've been using on some projects. So all they do is obviously save these and, and bring up these expressions and I can then keyframe between them. So it's pretty basic stuff, but I find it really useful. And I've also got some sliders here that just help me with some, some basic adjustments and yeah. And then I can go through and I can reset different parts. So I can reset the mouth only and keep everything else. Uh, reset the eyes, reset the brows. There was tongue and neck stretch, neck stretch, and then the switches. All right, and then if I close that and then if I open up the body, It's very similar to start up and choose Angie in the scene. And then, you know, it's early days in working out how to set this whole thing up <laughs> uh, because there's most things you're better off just using the human IK panel. But I've found the reason I built this is because I needed to do various things. And so that's helping me do those various things. And if I go, backwards. You know, it just helps me quickly set certain poses, I can save poses in here, and call them up. What I can also do is research T pose with the FK and the IK separately, which I find really helpful. I don't really use these presets down here and, and save them to this. So I haven't really built this tool out to do that because I just, in my process, I just haven't found I, I really needed that so far. But um, yeah, I could theoretically do that. And then the idea is that when I have time, which is why I've thrown in a sketch here just from, to remind myself, ideally I'd be able to mask things out and have different pose categories in here. So instead of having these presets down here, I'd get rid of this. And yeah, and this might even be the default, I don't know. And then be able to flip different parts, you know, and mirror and all those useful things. All right, so that's that's an update. Oh, and obviously the point is that, is to have them both running. So I'm often using both of them when I need to quickly come up with, you know, um, but I'm mostly using human IK. So I can pose my character. And then this is just a quick way to jump to um, facial expressions. 
yeah. There we go. That is the Metajex tool that I'm currently working on.